My name is Kathleen Sullivan. I am a English and drama teacher at Loyola Secondary. And I guess by being a teacher, you are inevitably a mentor. So my mom had four kids in six years. I was the eldest. I think you learn at a very early age that it's not all about you. So I think it sort of humbles your ego. So I went to a school of the arts. So I actually had to audition to get into the high school that I got into. There was a lot of um, mystique wrapped around the audition process. It's, it was this whole thing of like going to Mayfield. You know, I, I kind of felt a little bit out of the norm in that regard. But once I got into Mayfield, there were two classes for a year. I found a bunch of kids that were just like me. My mom always said that I had this determination and this discipline. Like I would, I would go upstairs, I would study for two, two and a half hours. I'd go downstairs with them and watch TV for about an hour and then I'd go to bed the same time every single night. I just had this, and I'm still like that, I, I just had this routine. I think if I relaxed a little bit and if I took the pressure off myself a little, I still would have been maybe equally successful. I just, I think I felt like I had to, I think I worked harder rather than working smarter. So I think advice to my younger self would be relax a bit, take a little bit more time for yourself, take a little bit more time for fun. I think the perspective of knowing that life goes like this, there are highs and there are lows and that a lot of it is out of your own control. You can't help it. Um, things can be okay for a year and a half and then all of a sudden one day it can all go like that. I think knowing that you're not entitled to a perfect everyday life, that stuff happens to great people, stuff happens to bad people, stuff just happens to everyone. Um, how do I get through it? I think that knowledge um, as well, seeking help or advice from family members, friends, whoever's close to you. Um, alone time can be good as well. And um, sometimes you can heal yourself with solitude, contemplative solitude as well. I had a really great department head at my other school. I used to mark every night and he could tell just by my energy when I was coming in. My first two years, I was so rigid. And I remember him taking me aside one day and saying, you have to take time for yourself and you have to relax. He was one of those people who would like take you aside, say something to you that was absolutely true and you would just burst into tears. And he's like, I think he said, are you marking every night? And I went, like I just burst into tears. And he's like, if you don't, take time for yourself and you know take those enjoyment times or whatever you are going to burn out and uh, you got you got to take time for yourself no matter what <laughs>